Hi students, so today we're going to learn how to do um, how to convert codons into amino acids. Um, so as you remember the uh, DNA, uh, the instructions of DNA of one gene are copied onto mRNA since DNA can't leave the nucleus. So then once the instructions are mRNA, mRNA leaves the nucleus through the pores and it goes to the ribosomes. Now it's time for the ribosomes to read the mRNA language which is in bases and then put the appropriate amino acids where they need to go. So we're going to start right here with, um, we have a DNA triplet. And so we're going to turn that into mRNA, so we're going to transcribe that. You already know how to do that. You know, A goes with U, T goes with A, C goes with G. Okay, so we're going to be solving these problems. And um, as you notice, it says right here on our chart that this, this is where the first base is. This is where the second base is, and this is where the third base is. First, second, third. So for example, let's do an example here. So it says UAG. Now remember this chart? This chart is only once we have codons. Codons are, are in, on mRNA. And if you can see, we only use this for codons because of mRNA has U's. And, and if you look here, it's got U's. So this is only for RNA. So I would write that up here. RNA only. So this is how the ribosome reads the RNA, especially mRNA. So we don't use this for we don't use this chart for DNA, okay? So we're not going to use it for this, only for mRNA. So let's look at the first base. So first base is U. So I look where it says first base. Where is that? Over here. It says first base is U. Okay, there you go. And I keep my finger on there. And then the second base is A. Now, when it says U, I'm looking at the first row. And the second base is A. So I'm on the first row. And then here's the second base, which is A. So I know I'm here. U, second base is A. Kind of like how we made the Punnett squares. U, A. Now, which one is this? Well, I need the third base, right, which is G. So third base is over here. So I follow from this area, and I go right here. And it's a stop codon. So in other words, that's where the, uh, the ribosome is going to stop um, translating. So let's go to another one. G, A, C. First, we've got to uh, transcribe that, turn that into mRNA. So I know G goes with C, A goes with U, don't forget that, and then C goes with G. So here's our codon, so C, U, G. Now let's look at our chart. The first base is C, so look where it says first base, it's over here. First base is C, so I'm on this row, okay? The second base is U, okay, where's the second? It says second base, but it says U, so it's right here. I know I'm in this area, but, but which one is it? I need the third base to figure that out. The third base is G. So here we go, all the way across, G, so it's this one, it's leucine, L-E-U. So, or we can spell it out, leucine. And let's try another one, A-A-A. Well, if you transcribe that, you get U, U, U. So then, let's look at our, our codon chart, and let's turn that to an amino acid. What amino acid goes there? Well, let's see, U, U, U. So the first one is a U. The first base is U, so I look where it says first base, here it is, it's U. I'm in this row now. The second base is U, second, right here, so now I know I'm in this box. And then the third base is U, so I'm going across, and it's phenylalanine. That's the amino acid. You're going to re realize that there's 20 amino acids. So you're going to see all these interesting names. Some codons... Uh, code for the same, uh, some different codons code for the same amino acid as you could see, like proline. It's got four codes. Um, let's try another one. How about, can we go backwards? How about AUG? Well, let's see. A going backwards, what, what would that be? Well, I know A goes with T. U goes with A. G goes with C. Now, from, a, from this to that, we just look at our chart, right? A. First base right here. So I know I'm in this row. U is the second base. I know I'm right here. A U. And then G. Bring the G across. And it's MET. MET actually stands for methionine. So that's the amino acid that goes there. And that's the start codon. That's so that's where we start. Remember from the previous video, the ribosome starts at the AUG codon, which uh, we remember it as August. Yeah, that kind of helps us remember it. Okay, so that's how you do these types of problems. Let's turn to the other page. You're going to do the rest. Um, let's turn to this other page. 
And essentially it's the same same concept, same idea. Um, so let's try that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So here we have a DNA. So what's on the other side of DNA? You can keep going. G, 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 G. T, C, G, C, C, A, T, T. That's easy. We know how to do that. Now we're going to get mRNA. Remember we use the coding or the template. And you guessed it, we use the template. So T goes with A, A goes with U, C goes with G, 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 G. Um, A, G, C, G, G, U, A, A. Okay. And then now we're going to translate that. In other words, we're going to go ahead and turn that into a an amino acid sequence. Remember, we start in August. So what I would do right away is I would get, um, I would find AUG. Right there, you see it right away. So I would go like this. I would separate them into codons. Remember, codons are every three bases. And so AUG codes for MET. How would I know that? Again, I use my codon chart. AUG, A. U G met. And so I keep doing that here. Met. The next one is G G G. So G G G. So I gotta go back to my codon chart. And let's see, first base is G, second base is G, and the third base is G. So I'm right here on glycine. So let's go ahead and put. And notice what we do, and sometimes we shorthand them, we just use the first three letters. Just to make it easier sometimes, it's because some amino acids have long names like glycine, methionine. We want to make it as easy as possible. G A G, turn it over. G A G, and we get glutamic acid. So I'll put G L U. And you keep going so forth. Now you're going to do the same thing, to use the same principle we use here to do these. Okay? And then uh, on trial seven, I think you make your own. So the last one, you just make your own uh, DNA code. So you can have fun with that.